So today we're going to show you how you can get your Arduino on the internet so it's accessible from anywhere. So here in the network diagram you can see we've got our Arduino routed back to our PC where the software will run, then through our router, and then off to the internet, and then off to, for example, a mobile device or another PC somewhere else in the world. So we've linked it this way because this is how the software will route the connection. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoy this video and have a look at our other videos and stay up to date with feature updates and further instructions. So here we have the NGROC website at ngroc.com and this is the software that we'll be using to allow us to forward our HTTP connection from the board through to the internet without having to configure our router. So if you just download this software and then follow the instructions to set up an account and this will allow you to have one tunnel for free and then we can run this software on our PC so this is what will route the connection from the internet all the way through your PC to your Arduino so in the documentation there is a section on forwarding to servers on a different machine which is what we'll be doing here as our Arduino is our server and we'll need to use this the IP address and the port in the parameters as shown here. There's also lots of other parameters and options available so depending on your setup you may wish to set some of those so we've downloaded and extracted ngrok here and we've set up a little batch script just to save us having to remember the commands and IP addresses and so on. So we've set the IP address and the port, and the port set to 80 for the standard HTTP connection. So we'll just need to run that, and when you do, you'll get a, a window pop up and it'll connect everything together, as shown here. And this will also tell you the address that it's been forwarded to on the internet. So if you put that into a, a web browser, that will then try and initiate the connection from the internet back to the software on your PC which will then try and forward it to the Arduino. So if we load Visual Micro we've just started with a simple Wi-Fi server example here um, but you could connect obviously any Wi-Fi or Ethernet enabled project as long as it's on the same network as your PC. So we've just changed it to pin 4 instead of pin 5 in the example software due to our ESP32 Rover's blue LED being on pin 4 then if we just set the COM port and then build and upload as normal and then we should have our Wi-Fi server and web server starting on our ESP32 now so as we can see here in the serial monitor we've got its IP address and that's already been routed by our NGROC software so if we take the address shown and put this in a web browser then you should now be able to see your web page. Of course you could do this from your phone and turn off your Wi-Fi so you know it's working through the internet. And you can also see at the bottom of the window when we run these requests it will show you the requests that have come in which is quite useful but the being stuck in the command prompt isn't always ideal. So you can also go to port 4040 and then forward slash inspect HTTP and this will give you your internal NGROC server on your PC and you can inspect and even replay the requests back to your board so this can be very useful for testing as well as debugging and of course if you use the Visual Micro web debugger you could also run that to the internet so you could actually have an Arduino Uno for example on a serial port routed through the vMicro web debugger then through NGROC to the internet so you could actually put any project online with this free and simple piece of software